Hey, what's going on, peeps? My name is Rex, and we're back with some more Dragon Age. On the last episode, we entered the castle of Red Cliff to see what is going on with all the zombies. And we finally got a little bit of info. Apparently, someone has been summoning some demons. <laughs> we'll talk more about what they really are and what these captains really mean. But first, there's something that I want to do. But, oh, actually, before that, there's two things I want to do. Uh, I, I, I would like to apologize. It's, it's, I know that it's been forever since I last uploaded in this channel, uh, Dragon Age specifically, and, and well, really any anything, really. <laughs> the lore videos, it's been forever. I'm actually moving. Um, I'm moving in, I think it's like five days from now. So, you know, it's a little hectic. There's a lot of packing going on. There's a lot of cleaning that I have to do. There's a lot in my head right now, and it's just hard to really focus on Dragon Age right now. I really apologize. Um, I'll try my, my best to just do as many episodes as I can, but it's it's been very, very difficult. As soon as, like, after I move, I'll be able to do them again, but it's it's been tough. The other thing that I want to talk about is that I'm going to be making some decisions here that might seem a little weird. Uh, and the reason, uh, decisions with the characters, that is, the decisions that I'm going to be making in the game. Um, the reason I'm making them is because there's a very specific... Uh, a very specific trajectory that I want to take with this quest, and a very specific ending that I want to get for this quest. And the reason I'm doing it is because it's my favorite ending, and I know that a lot of you guys, especially those that are uh, very into Dragon Age, and you know everything that happens. Um, you know, you might like some other endings, and I, I, I do want to be a good character, I want my character to be good. But, you know, I just, I'm trying to make something happen. So, you know, excuse me for that, but I think it's just it just makes for the best kind of ending in terms of drama and, and impact in, in the story, and I just want you guys to experience that, so... Just saying. I do want to talk to Yoan. You're back. Have you found out what's going on yet? Not yet. I see. What now, then? I think it's time to end this. I understand, and I accept it. Do... Do what do you have to? Joan, you're a blood mage. Even if you didn't summon the demons as you claim, you still poisoned the Arl, which is a offense that is, to be perfectly honest, punishable by death. I hereby execute you for your crimes. Very well. You guys have to understand he's a blood mage. Blood mage is a person that uh, uses demons to fuel their powers. He escaped from the circle of magi, which is already uh, killable. It's a, a, an offense punishable by death, as it is. But he also poisoned the Arl. That's There's just no way that anyone can reason with a person like that. It's it's. I'm sure that he would have otherwise maybe... Uh, Tried to do good. I mean, he just it sounds like a good person in his heart. He never probably meant to do evil, but uh, You can't just poison a guy and just claim that you did it with a good intent. I mean, there's there has to be a limit To the good deeds <laughs> to the bad deeds that you claim are good. They're just it's just come on guys Come on. I'm sure that you guys can, for can forgive me that at least anyways We got some more shambling corpses one thing that I want to let you guys know is that these are not actually undead as, well, normal zombies are. Is he a zombie? Uh, you know, as, as far as traditional culture goes, it's just a... It's a corpse, a person that has been rejuvenated by some form of virus, right? I mean, that's just usually what someone... Oh, there's a nut here. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually what people think about when did you think about zombies. It's so someone that get rejuvenated and... and you know, he needs to eat or feed to sustain this decaying body of theirs, right? These are not actually the same persons that inhabited those bodies. In fact, they're demons possessing those bodies. So, in, in essence, they're just demons, like, puppeteering their bodies. So, they're not really zombies, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now, Shades, on the other hand, they are straight-up demons that have entered the real world. You see, normal demons cannot enter a world because... Uh, what? They, don't, they can't perceive... Whoa! You pulled something crazy here, Morrigan. This is not very good. Let me just go ahead and heal. My character takes so much damage. Now I'm pulling a bunch of other shambling skeletons on the other side. I have to be careful here. The demons cannot really... Cannot enter our world in their true form because they're confused. Their world, the Fade, 
is very static. Nothing ever really changes. There are no emotions, no feelings, no memories, no thoughts. Everything is just a stale, kind of permanent, static -y ground thing. I don't know how else to explain it, but you guys get my meaning. When they enter this world, they're confused. They see life, they see death, memories, feelings, flesh, blood. Everything just moves and, and, and everything is just kind of organized in this like... Imagine like a gear, right? Like 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 a moving assembly line. Everything just kind of working together t for a purpose. Um, they're not used to that. They don't understand that. Um, so normally, what demons do is that they attach to something because yes. they, they they feel this curiosity, this need to understand it. So what they end up doing is they just absorb the essence of people and they inhabit someone's uh, body. That way, they can further understand how everything works. Shades are demons that don't quite do that. Instead of possessing a body, they simply move around. Move around the world as as an invisible kind of force. They absorb the essence of, of targets of people that just kind of, you know, surround them. Until eventually they grow powerful enough to be able to uh, form an essence, uh, their own form, into the real world. And that's what a demon truly looks like, a shade. They're actually pretty scary, generally, because they're pretty powerful. You know, a demon that is smart enough to, to stay out of sight and just absorb and absorb and absorb uh, tends to become pretty powerful. <laughs> so that's what they are. I, I find that very interesting, just the way demons work and, and, and how they interact with the real world, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, we still got more demons here, more more corpses. This one's not really that uh, that powerful. My character, since he's a rogue, he does take a lot of damage so fast. So I gotta be very careful here. I'm gonna use her. Make sure that I can heal this guy's. Uh, be very mindful of the fact that uh, corpses are very resilient to frost in general. I do happen to have frost weapons, which, which is kind of a shame. Um, some of the strongest, uh, some of the strongest zombies. I keep calling them zombies, but what you guys get what I mean? Uh, they are completely immune to frost. Like they're not even gonna take a single bit of damage from that, so just keep that in mind, be very careful when you fight some of the bosses. Go ahead and heal. Alright, it's not too bad, not too bad, we're doing pretty good. My character keeps taking a lot of damage, uh, I guess I can heal. There we go. We're gonna fight in some strong enemies later on, and those are gonna be the ones that I'm gonna have to be a little bit concerned about, but these ones are not really a problem. These ones actually drop an item that I want you guys to... Keep an eye out for it's called Corpse Gall. Now I don't really know what a gal is. It's probably just like freaking like intestines or some honestly just some disgusting crap. But um, we're gonna need them for a quest. Let's go ahead and kill this guy real quick first. Uh, can you heal up? There we go. There we go. Man, we pulled a lot of them. This is kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and give her something to heal. No, I want to give you something small. There we go. Kill Liliana. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Liliana is getting wrecked, but that's okay. That's all right. Backstab some people, and there you go. So let me show you the corpse skulls that I'm talking about. A malformed organ caught from the gut of a reanimated horror. So there you go. It's pretty much like intestines, I guess, <laughs> or anything that comes out of the gut. Um, we are gonna need nine of those to finish up a quest from the Chanter's board. But the interesting part about that quest is that you can actually give more gal than what you're required to. And if you do that, you get extra gold. If you give out nine gulls, you get three gold. If you, get, if you give 18 gulls, then you get five gold. So be sure to collect as much as possible. Um, and also be sure to finish it only when you have the 18. Because if you go uh, into the Chanter's board and you try to complete it before you actually have the 18, then you'll just complete it with the normal amount of nine and uh you only get the you know lower amount of uh, of gold which is just not what you want you won't be able to complete the quest later after that um these dogs are actually very dangerous i'm gonna move my character back i want alistair to take the blunt of the hit and where's the little lieutenant here there's the lieutenant so we're gonna focus on him um okay you should be far away morgan should be closer and see if you can stun them all that would be nice um, these dogs have the most overpowered ability in the game, which is called overpower. <laughs> um, it'll pretty much neutralize the target completely and do a tremendous, outrageous, overpowered amount of damage. Oh, you shouldn't target her. That's pretty bad. Let's see if we can 
vulnerability you. Oh my god, she's gonna wreck me. Gotta be very, very careful here. These dogs can actually wreck your entire team if you're not careful in any difficulty, so... I honestly suggest, I honestly suggest just extreme caution with these guys. There we go, we froze them. Um, the other dogs, I, I don't know if any, every single one of these dogs can actually do it, but I know for a fact that Lieutenant can, and he will destroy you, one shot you even, so... There we go, not too shabby, not too shabby. Freaks the balls out of that dog. And out! Never felt so good about killing a dog, I'll tell you that much. Get some colors, is that it? That's pretty much it. We'll get some items here for uh, for bark spawn, so that's pretty good. We get uh, electricity resistance and cold resistance. Nah, not too bad, really. Lamb bone is a gift. Um, I don't really like those uh, those paints. I never really use them, to be quite honest. Let's go ahead and give her some more damage, some dexterity here, and uh, we're gonna do melee archer. So that should allow her to be hit by melee attacks while still uh, well using her abilities in fighting. She's not gonna be interrupted by melee attacks on her while she's shooting her bow, which is amazing, to be honest. It's a great, great thing to have. Trap. Whoa. To see, really. Thankfully, we're a rogue, so we can disarm this. Not a problem whatsoever. There we go, you get experience, which is nice. There's nothing here interesting to get. Just, uh, oops. Some healing stuff, some elixirs, nothing too bad. This is where you have to go, but... There's some items here that you don't want to miss. And a nice lady that, if you guys remember, we were supposed to save. Please, don't hurt me. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she? All right. What happened to everyone? Wait, Valena? The Smith's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Yes, there is. There's a tunnel leading out of the dungeon. But, but the monsters... Don't worry, I killed most of them. It's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. No problem, guys. We have saved the smith's daughter. He uh, made us promise. Specifically made us promise that we were going to save her. If we found her here, and we did! Private documents, uh, those, there's nothing really to do with those, they're just meant for you to, like, sell them. There's really nothing interesting with them at all. But, uh, what else is there to do here? Let's go ahead and, uh, open up this door, fight a bunch of zombies. I call them zombies, I don't care anymore. Ooh, let's kill the mage. Mage. Can't suck it. There we go. Some backstabs, I think we need some healing. But yeah, if you guys remember, if you want the other blacksmith to appear back in town, then you need to make sure to not save her. Which is really easy, you guys saw that, it's just a matter of not going into that room and talking to her. That's, uh, it's an easy way to just not save her, and if you do that, the blacksmith will, well, he'll suicide. Which is a sad thing to happen, but, uh, he'll be replaced by an even better blacksmith, so... You know, that's a choice you can do, especially if you're a ranger. If you wanna buy a sweet-ass bow from him, then, uh, from the new blacksmith, then make sure to do that, otherwise... Eh, you can save him. It Sounds like a good guy, just cares about his daughter. Can't really judge him for that now, can we? Let's go ahead and grab all the, uh, all the gulls. There we go. If you're gonna play Dragon Age, like, if this is your first time playing, I do suggest getting a mod that allows you to, uh, automatically pick up whatever you will pick up, so you don't have to, like, actually right-click on the corpse and then go into the actual, like, bag menu and click on take all. <laughs> It'll probably make your life easier, but just to get the normal standard experience, I decided not to do it. Um, how many gulls do I have, though, just out of, uh... Okay, so nine. I can complete the quest as it is, but I would like to get 18 so that I can get the, the bigger reward. Because I'm just greedy like that. Alright, well, it seems like we're gonna be going outside into the courtyard, which is great. And maybe we can open the door, the gate of the castle, so we can get, uh, Sir Perth here to help us. Which should be nice. There we go. A little, little basement here. Pick up everything we can. Oh, there's something interesting that we want to get here, guys. I promised you that I was gonna show you this. We get a love letter and still bracers, which is a gift. Booyah! Alright, let's read this, guys. <laughs> so, uh, what this is, it's a collection of embarrassing personal communications between the spoiled wealthy and their objects of obsession. So it's pretty much just like a back and forth uh, letter kind of chain where you have a wealthy person talking to uh well, someone, the, it's like a cheating kind of thing. 
it's someone cheating on their husbands or wives with some, someone else, and that's the letters that they send each other. My darling Reginald, I burn for you, and because of you, please use the enclosed tincture if our love is to endure. Sorry. And then, Sir Ogold, you're filthy, a beast, such depravity, I have never been forced to suffer, how words are so laden when they leave your lips is beyond decent imagining. Madam, I love you. So, as we collect the letters, uh, we're gonna get kind of a clear picture of, you know, the entire message, and... Uh, I believe it's just a collection of different messages, so it's not just one message. Uh, as we collect more, it'll become more obvious, but if we collect all of them, then we get a reward, which is kind of cool. But other than that, there's really not much to do with this. Yeah, you collect them all around the world. Uh, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's not that interesting, but it's okay. It's kind of funny, if anything. Anything? Anyways, here's the, uh, the courtyard. We're gonna be fighting a revenant. Which is a very, very difficult creature, so beware, guys. He can actually wreck your entire team if you're not careful. I'm gonna open this lever here. Oh, God! Please, let me open this. Please not die, people. There we go. We're gonna get some help. It's not needed, necessarily. You can clear the room by yourself. Like, there's really nothing to it. Let's go ahead and heal you. I'm gonna actually send Alistair to fight the Revenant because I want him to tank that and then I can have my boy here uh, fight some of these corpses. We're gonna switch between Alistair and me. There we go. Uh, I wanna kill him first. So a Revenant is a demon of desire or pride that has infested a corpse. Pretty much like the normal corpses, like the Chamberlain corpses as you see here, except that it's a very, very powerful demon. That's the main difference. If you have a really powerful demon infest a corpse, then, well, you get a remnant. If you get a kind of lower level demon, then you get a normal corpse. That's pretty much all it is to it. Nothing that exciting. Uh, I do will say, though, that a stronger demon of rage, for example, will create a different kind of remnant or any other kind of demon. The, the remnant kind of demon is only, only happens when you have a uh, desire or pride infest a corpse. Very different. Good. Alright, hmm, I want to loot the, the Revenant. No, it doesn't have anything, right? Because because if I talk to them, then I have to go back in. No? Doesn't seem like there's anything. Anyways, guys, it's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, there's a lot to, to do on the next one. I I, I know it's a, it's a pretty short episode and know that it's been a while. I want to make it longer, but there is a lot that I want to do inside that has to do with the, uh, the storyline, and I want to be able to do that and the ending of this quest on the same, on the same episode, and I feel like if I go inside, I won't be able to do that. Um, so, because I, I can't finish this entire episode, this entire, uh, story in one sitting, so... I'll see you guys next time. Again, I apologize, I don't know when it's gonna be the next episode. I'm, I'm moving out, guys. It's, it's a lot to do, a lot of cleaning. A lot of stress, and, uh, well, I'm gonna be back at home for a while. After that, then I'm gonna be moving again, so... <sighs> it's been very busy, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I do have a lot of plans for the channel. A lot of plans, but it's gonna be crazy. I promise you guys. I promise it's gonna be crazy. I just, I just need you guys to give me some more time. <sighs> I'm sorry. See you guys next time.